how are you? Nice. Three weeks ago, I went golfing and beat my wife for the first time. Those are two separate things. I got home, she was like, were you golfing again? And I lost it. It's like, I'm dressed like an asshole, what do you think? Thank you. My wife has a PhD in genetics, but that's it. She doesn't have a PhD in everything, even though you would not know that from talking to her. She thinks she's very smart. One day she goes, Chad, what would you ever do without me? I'm a grown up with a job. You heard what happened. Conan said my name, I heard it. I was like, oh my God, that's me. And I came out here all by myself. That's not true. There's a guy behind the curtain that holds your arm till you're supposed to go. <laughs> and he told me, he came out and put tape where I was supposed to stand. So the question is, what would I do without that guy? And the answer is, I'd still be in my dressing room eating cupcakes looking for the funky bunch. I would. I'd be looking for him. I couldn't find him anywhere. You know what I'd do without my wife? I'd raise my kids to be at least this old. Because I've done it. I've gotten, my, I've gotten a human being to hear. That's why it never made sense when people are like, I could never have a kid. I can't even keep a plant alive. Well, you're not a plant. You don't have to know how photosynthesis works to keep a child alive, right? You just make your food and cut it smaller. It's very simple. You cut up a steak and put it in a plant, you got a dead plant on your hands. They're just little people. I'm a big person. I can help with that, because I've been there. My daughter's nine. I've been a nine-year-old person. I know that's when girls get real bitchy. Right? They hook their elbows together and walk down the hallway. You don't have new shoes, slut. I've been nine. I can help with that. My son's 14. I've been there. I told him, if you ever have to give a speech in front of your class, consider taping your dick down that day. <laughs> Look at all the dudes loving it. We all know that 14-year-old boners do not keep a schedule. I want you to know that my wife is an outstanding mother, but she's never been a teenage boy. And I am very happy about that. So she has a lot of questions for me. She came in when he turned 13. She goes, we have a teenager now. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to knock. First and foremost, we are going to knock. Even if the door's open, I'd like you to reach around and give it a tap. Because he might be reaching around and giving it a tap. <laughs> Teenage boys are the most disgusting creatures on the face of the earth. <laughs> Monkeys throw their own feces at you and I'd rather have one of those living at my place. I don't trust anything in my house. I open the refrigerator with my foot because I don't know if he had sex with it when I wasn't home. <laughs> And nobody should be disgusted by that, especially not the guys, because all of us got home from school before our parents got home from work, looked at that little space in between the couch cushions and thought, eh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, God, that might feel right. <laughs> what is that, velvet? Is that velvet? <laughs> Sometimes my wife treats me like an idiot, and I want you to know that I have earned it. We're at the food court one day, and she goes, uh, I'm gonna go over here and get a sandwich. Do you need some help getting the kids some food? Fuck, no. I know how to buy food, you jackass. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm walking up to the store going, I'll take one of those. What's that? I need money? Oh, I didn't know that. I'm just a dad. <laughs> Let me go get the mom. She knows everything. Can I leave the kids here? Do I have to take them with me? I don't know what to do. My penis doesn't let my brain work all the way. Can somebody grab my wife? She's that one in the cape. <laughs> it was at the food court where there was only one set of footprints because that's where she carried me. <laughs> you guys were great. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you.